Okay, I'm kind of in a pickle here. Few days back, I went on a short trip to test the new cameras of the iPhone 17. When I returned, somehow my little cousin got this phone and she ended up deleting all the photos, even from the bin. And you know how restrictive Apple is with everything, right? I quite literally thought that this was a dead end. But then I remembered a few days back, I came across a data recovery software from Stellar and I could very reliably recover all the photos and videos from my Android. You can watch the video from here. So I was wondering if they offer the same services for iPhones. Turns out they do. So the only thing left unanswered here is, does it actually work? But the more important question is, why Stellar? Why not some other brand? There are two very good reasons for that. Well, three to be honest. One, they have a solid 4.8 star Trustpilot rating with close to 5,000 reviews. Two, Stellar is trusted by the best of the best. There is Google, Amazon, Microsoft, HP and more who are their customers. And three, they have been doing this since 1993. So without further ado, let us start with the recovery process. And by the way, thanks to Stellar for sponsoring this video. Now, there are a few things that you need to know before you start. The most important part is using this software does not require you to do anything to your iPhone that would void the warranty. The second one is you will require a Windows PC or a Mac to recover the data. The software is compatible on both the operating systems, but make sure you meet the basic system requirements to run the software. First, I'll be showing you how to download the software and install it on Windows. So you just need to head over to this website. I have the links in the description. Just click the download button. And after the download is complete, just head over to downloads and start the installer. Uh, select the language first and then hit next. Now it will ask you to accept the license agreement then click next, next and finally install. Now I'm just going to launch the Stellar data recovery software for iPhone. Hit yes in the user account control because that is not visible in recordings and done. Now it is very simple. You just need to select the files that you want to recover. For example, in this case, I'm going to go for the camera roll. That is, I want all the photos and videos from the camera roll to be recovered. I'm just going to deselect the rest of them because I don't need them and hit next. Make sure your iPhone trusts your PC, else the connection won't be possible. Hit next and there you go. It is asking me to select the device. I'll just select this is the iPhone 17 and then you can hit scan. Now I'm not going to do that from here. I'm going to close it because I'm also going to show you how you can do the same thing from your MacBook. Now again, the same thing, just head over to the website as linked in the description and hit download and allow. Of course, I'm in Safari. So yeah, and then launch the DMG image. Now you already might know that installations are pretty simple in Mac. Just need to drag and drop and that's all. Installed. Now in the applications folder, you can find the Stellar data recovery for iPhone. Click on open. Just open the app and you might need to enter your password. It will ask you to accept the license agreement and done. As you can see, the user interface is very similar to the one we had in Windows. But yeah, it has that Mac OS Aqua touch. Okay, I'll just deselect all of them and here we have the iPhone. Oh, I need to select the device. Yeah, so I've selected and scan. And again, it will take quite a bit of time in order to scan and deep scan your iPhone. And you might get this prompt. So make sure to enter the passcode into your iPhone. You might notice that your phone heats up quite a bit. It happened with my iPhone. The mistake I did was I kept it inside a pretty hefty case. So it would be better if you can put it outside a case because in that way you can get some better heat dissipation. Oh wow, it is showing more than 1800 files. Now these files you know, not only include the files that are recovered from my system, but they also include the files that are already present on my system. I mean the files that were not deleted. And the best thing about Stellar is you can literally browse everything for free. So make sure to browse this area thoroughly to find out your deleted files. And you can even open most of the files directly from here. Just double click and it opens. So all of this is completely free. Only when you try to export the files or save the files, you need to get a valid license. And even after the scan is complete, if you're unable to find the data that you're looking for, you can also perform a deep scan, which is only available after the initial scan is complete. So I'll just select the files that I want to recover from here. I can select all of them, but obviously it won't be requiring all of them. 
and then you can just click over here save and now you just need to give the location where you want to recover all the files so just uh, give a location i'll be connecting my external drive and export the files now this process will also take some amount of time so again be patient okay let me now walk you through the other features that the app supports you can obviously recover the photos and videos that are present on your system that you accidentally deleted uh, and then you can recover the stuff that are synced with your iCloud you can recover even installed app data from here then you have recovery for messages chats including whatsapp notes and reminders and even voice memos then you have contacts and call logs bookmarks, saved calendar items, events and more. You can also use your iTunes backup to recover from there. The same array of features are provided in both the sections. And finally, you can also recover from the iCloud backup that you have. Again, the same array of features are present. Oh, and this is how your files are going to look like after the export. Obviously, they will be accessible from Finder or the File Explorer and you can open them or save them somewhere else. If you really want to recover your lost or deleted data, I would highly recommend you to get the Stella data recovery for iPhone scan your iPhone see if you can recover the files and then get their license you can use the links in the description below to get the software as well as purchase the license if you purchase from the links I have provided I will earn a small commission that will help my channel a lot thank you so much for watching do like share and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one